Hey guys, it's Roman the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 271 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Assume that you're attempted, let's just dive right in. Let x be a random variable with density function given here. Calculate the probability of x is less than 0.5 given x is less than 1.0. So again, as always, our favorite um, conditional fo probability formula probability of A given B is probably A and B given the probability of B. Okay, so then we know that the numerator will just be equal to probability of x less than 0.5 and x is less than 1.0 given probability of x is less than 1.0. Right? Oh, what the heck is happening? Okay, 1.0. Okay, but then they're saying we're trying to find an intersection between 1 and and 0.5. So we we're trying to find an intersection between this part and this part. Well, if it, x is less than 0.5, that already takes care of both x is less than 1.0. That takes care of the intersection between x is less than 1.0 and x is less than 0.5. So the numerator can just be um, simplified to x is less than 0.5, less than or equal to 0.5, divided by probability that x oops, is less than 1.0. Alrighty, alrighty. So then what is the probability that x is less than um, 0.5? Would it just equal to the integration from 0 to half? 0.5 is just half. 2e to the negative 2x. Alright, dx divided by the integration of 0 to 1 of 2 to e negative 2x. Alright, alright. Okay, not, this is not too bad because we know that this is just an exponential um, distribution with e equals with lambda being equal to half so that means the CDF of it is just 1 minus e to the negative 2 t right divided by also then this will just be I would have to plug in our, my number 1 half divided by 1 minus e to the negative 2 times 1 all right, all right, so this is equal to 1 minus e to the negative 1 divided by 1 minus e to the negative 2. So let me plug into my calculator real quick. So this is equal to 0 0.731, which is approximately, which is equal to d. So I hope that makes sense because I, if you haven't seen my exponential distribution form um, video, you should go definitely go check it out. I explain how the CDF of an exponential function is just 1 minus e to the negative t over lambda and in our case lambda is half so then that's how you got it i hope that's helpful make sure you like subscribe and share bye